Hey there everyone, my name is Itesh and welcome to another video of a case study discussion. Now this case study discussion is super helpful for everyone because I want to show you the impact that when you properly use AI, when you have a goal in mind, then you can leverage AI and it doesn't cost a bomb. But the most important thing is you don't have to hunt for problems because what's the most important thing right now is with the LLMs and with these agents, we have a solution. But we are hunting for a problem. We don't have a problem. But when you know specifically that I do have a certain problem and can AI solve this, this is where things get really interesting. And I want to show you one such study about a platform, Book My Show. It's a very popular platform here in India and it serves like I always book my tickets through Book My Show. Whenever I have to watch a movie or a comedy show, I, I watch a lot of stand-up comedy show. All of them goes through Book My Show. And this is exactly the article and case study that I want to present to you so that you can learn something from it. And again, it's just a case study and everything is free. I think you will absolutely love it. So without a face wasting any more time, let me take you on to this really nice case study. And one of the most important aspect of this is how URL based transformation actually works. So before I take you on to this case study, I'll walk you through with this. So this is how the original product looks like. So you can see there is no shadow, nothing there. I can zoom it all looks like this. But if you have proper AI implementation, you can have just a click of the button and notice the URL, how they transform the URL. This is what the URL looks like. But if you go ahead and click on normal shadow, now you have just a parameter, a query parameter, question mark, TR equals to E shadow. So all you have to know is know about the E shadow. Now look at this, how beautiful the shadow looks like. And not only this, if you go ahead and change the light direction, you can just go ahead and change the light direction to AZ45, to AZ90, all of these. Now look at this, the shadow looks good. And this is how the AI shadow looks like. Ah, pretty decent. And now the question comes up, what does this shadow have to do? This shadow is the baseline of our case study that you can actually manipulate a lot of your images just via the URL. And how it was done with the Book My Show this is where the real engineering comes up. So this is all the AI part of it. I'll walk you through with more of these AI part. They have pretty interesting demos as well. Uh, this one is my favorite one that how you change the icing on the cake. But anyways, let's come back onto this. We'll come back onto the matrix that what the performance and everything is achieved. Now here's the problem statement. Book My Show is India's most popular and leading online entertaining platform that allows you to book online tickets. Now here is the interesting thing. If you are a platform which actually allows you to book the tickets, you also want to know the ratings of the movie or maybe the ratings of the entertainment show that you are watching for. And these ratings keeps on changing quite a lot. And maybe you want to change certain aspect of these posters. Now you don't want to hard code these things. You don't want to slap a Photoshop image of the ratings on top of the image. So how can this be changed? Now you want the minimum engineering effort as possible. Now surely we can actually do an overlay on top of that but that's not it is. So how ImageKit helped Book My Show restretching is media delivery. So Book My Show had already been using ImageKit media transformation service for almost two years with third party CDN. This allowed Book My Show to accelerate its media delivery with image optimization capability. However, due to third party CDN vendor restrictive capability and lack of support for ImageKit's video transformation and AVI format actually changed. So they were using it via the CDN, but not truly like fully powered image kit solution as well. Now, the already existing association and the challenges posted by the third party vendor led Book My Show to switch image kits, uh, integrated all these, thi these things. Now, by the way, let me also walk you through. When you have services like Book My Show, you also play trailers of the movie. Now, how well and how good you can play the trailer, especially when it's all in India, now, their business is not truly to show you the movie trailer. They are just a part of the business. It's not like the whole business is designed around the video delivery itself. The, the whole business is booking the tickets, but video is a part of it. Now, here it is. Now, moving to ImageKit CDN helped reduce the number of hops. This is which you always and always want to do. Now, no matter how good your CDN is, no matter how good your architecture is, added number of hops increases the latency and nobody wants that. While routing the traffic by eliminating several layers in the delivery network, the time to load images was reduced drastically by moving to image kit. So whatever the solution you are just looking for, just go for the direct solution. Don't go for hopping into the things. 
you are whatever the vendor you are choosing just go for all of that don't hop into the vendors this couple with the better optimization and lower precising of the image kit helped book my show slash 75% of media delivery cost by migrating to image kit now you might be thinking what does this 75% is going to look like now as a regular customer i know book my show I don't book the tickets or anything until unless the whole page is loaded. If I'm watching a movie, I need to know the poster. If the poster is not loaded, I think something is going wrong and I might not proceed and usually I might is a wrong word here. I will 100% will not proceed to book the tickets where the images are not loading. Now just to give you another fact, there are a lot of images that loads up when you uh, book or reserve your seats in the movie as well. So I need to know where I'm sitting. Is it right front of the screen or is it a corner seat? Is it up, up the front? I need to know all of this. And if you're showing this me as fast as, fa as fast as you possibly can, I'll book it faster and faster means faster money. Now video file format, this is where I was blown away by their optimization. I'll show you, they have this one here as well. Now look at this, this is the same movie and notice this, video delivered on Book My Show website using third party CDN, which is 88 MB, which is a lot. Uh, even if I watch this onto my Wi-Fi network, this is a lot. I don't want this size. And this is where they don't really worry about because the whole thing about Book My Show is not optimizing the images. They are not in the business of optimizing videos. They just want to sell the tickets and they just want a dumb solution that, hey, you just take care of everything for me. And this is the place where things like ImageKit actually shines. And this is, look at this, video delivered on Book My Show website using ImageKit is 6.3. So my whole take is, no matter what you're doing, just always look for optimization. Always look for image optimization. Always look for video optimization. Also, look for the font optimization as well. See, in these kinds of application and a scale at Book My Show, every second that user is waiting, there might some other plans that might happen. And you want the user to serve the application as quickly as possible so that they can book this. Now, here's my favorite part where I showed you this. Text overlay on image banners. This is my favorite thing that how the Book My Show actually did. So with Image Kit's real-time URL-based image transformation capabilities, Book My Show could add text image overlay to its banner at scale without relying too much on the designers or even developers. How cool it is and how awesome it is as a developer that I don't have to write extra code or CSS or anything. I can just transform this whole thing within the URL. Notice it. This is how they do it. Image Kit's text overlay feature on the banner. This is how they do it. So you don't have to do anything at all. A simple change in the database or a simple change even in the URL query can transform this image to adapt for different mobile screens. And here it is. Onto different mobile screen, on different tablets, on different desktop app. It just does the job so easily. Can I do this without ImageKit as well? Of course I can, I can. I can add more CSS layer, I can add Z indexes and I can add text. It would not be a drastic amount of work. But when the change happens, that's where the things actually can go wrong. I have to put this, I have to deploy it. So many things are there and I don't know when the next deployment cycle is. So I like this case study and this is where I think everybody should read more articles, study more case studies because you see how the engineering solution actually works for different companies and that's where you learn. This is like true system design 101. Now with ImageKit real-time URL-based image transformation capability, Book My Show could add text image overlay to its banner at scale without relying too much on the designer. These contextual banner improve the user experience to help them accelerate, to, uh, accelerate the time to market. So these are some of the things which I uh, loved absolute about uh, this thing. And yes, at first you think like, I'll do this manually. But when the things go into the scale and real world production, that's when I say you want to outsource. Like this is this is one of the thing I, I would like to mention this year. When you are just getting started with your first startup or you're building your first company or first product, you want to do everything on your own. But once you move past that and you are building your second startup or you're building the second next big company and all these things, you want to outsource as much as possible and focus on the prime business, which is making the money. For Book My Show, this is selling the tickets, not optimizing the video, not overlaying the text. These are, of course, the part of sell, uh, selling the tickets, but not primary concern on that. So let me show you a couple of interesting stuff here as well that they do. 
And I have actually a couple of videos around this where I shared these things. I do have a transformation. Even I did the transformation on the videos. First of all, uh, this is how the every documentation should be in the future. I should have a page which says open in ChatGPT. Now ChatGPT has a full context of this and I can just work with that. But the thing which I liked about is this is not too much heavy on, on the URL side. With just one URL, you can actually remove the background of the images and all of this. My favorite one is this one. Because I once happened to click a photo in Bengal of the yellow taxis and my photo was supposed to look like this, but somehow it looked like not even like this. It was like a standing taxi. It was a standing taxi. But one of the designer actually showed me that how we can transform this. And now I think this is super easy. And look at this, how good this looks like. And this, by the way, is all URL based. I was blown away, like how this can be. Like this is an image and you can actually turn this into this. Super easy. So maybe you're building for an e-commerce application where you have a photo of the product and you can use some of these URLs as just a prompt, not even a prompt, a URL, and can change this into this. Like, can you imagine what are the chances of selling this product on Amazon or wherever you are selling of this product versus this product? The chances are drastically high for this one. And these small decisions, and this one is my favorite. I don't know how they were able to do this. Like, this is pure magic. Add edit prompt, some flair to this plain cake. This is more than a flair. So I really like this how. And in case you want to learn more about how to build application with this, I have a couple of tutorials where I've showed you how you can transform the images and even videos from a full square videos like YouTube one to the shorts. And all of this was done using the image kit, just one URL. So that's why I say study more uh, on the case study side and get more of the details of it. I really like, oh, this, this one is also. I really like that how it all changes through the URL itself. Image transformation, cat dog, now notice this. Cropping the dog, that's it. And it's just the dog. Cropping the cat, that's it. Cropping the dog with aspect ratio as well. Oh, face crop, this is magic. This is pure magic, how they do it. And I love the fact that I have to, I don't have to call any models I just have to upload the image on their media servers and then URL is my best friend. <laughs> That's all I have to do. <laughs> Anyways, so it was a pretty nice case study and I really thought to share this with you so that you can understand that a developer is not just for writing the code itself. A developer primarily means that he understands the industry, whether it's a ticket selling business, uh, uh, it's an entertainment business, edtech business, fintech. You need to understand the business. Once you understand the underlying business, you will be a much, much better developer. Then you'll be using much smarter tools, much better tools. And that's your job as an engineer. Hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you have enjoyed this. Let's go ahead and catch up in next such video.